just wanted to mention that I know you have a lot of options for your photography needs and I would just like to thank you for choosing um, me today to take your pictures. If you're having any second doubts and you would like to see some references of some previous clients, I would be happy to supply you with their numbers. Um, last thing I wanted to mention, we are a full service photography business, or I have a full service photography business, meaning that I offer touch-ups as well as style advice along with my world-class photography skills. Is that something that you'd be looking for today? Excellent. Excellent. That's good to hear. I'm just going to take a look here. So, you are very easy, uh, a very easy client today because I think that the outfit that you went with is really stunning. Yeah, I mean it. It goes really well with your eyes. I think you chose the colors correctly. Mm -hmm. Now, I put up a background that I felt went well with your skin tone. I checked um, your last year's yearbook to see how it would complement, and I think that it turned out really well. What do you think? If not, I do have a wide variety of other colors uh, and backgrounds. And I have um, more to the side as well if you don't see anything on the wall that you'd like. This one's good. I'm glad you agree. Okay. So, as I said, your outfit is amazing. I just need to um, adjust it a bit. It's a bit askew. Is it okay if I adjust it? Okay, I'm gonna get in close here. are looking very crisp. If not, I do have starch that I can spray on your shirts to make them even stiffer. Okay. Now, what you have going on with your face, very, very good, very good looking. Perfect sus subject. But, I might be able to make it even better. The camera, it sometimes picks up oiliness more than natural lighting, so... I have some oil absorbing sheets. And I'm just going to carefully
I'm choosing for you. It's called a three-point lighting because I want it to just catch all those natural features on your face. You have really lovely cheekbones. They are pretty high and your brow bone. I also want to catch that of the lighting. I'm thinking that we might have to go a little further than just a, some oil blotting. I might have to put something on the face to mattify it. But before I do that, I will need to clean your face. Is that okay? Awesome. So, everything I use is skin safe and okay for sensitive skin to a uh, skin that doesn't exactly mind what you put on it but I definitely prefer to have products for all types now I'm just going to put a basic cleanser all over your face I'm just going to wipe the scent rose like the flower that's okay all right Does your skin feel? Good. Okay. Next, I'd like to apply some moisturizer because after you wipe the face free of any bad oils, you're also taking away a lot of good oils from your face. So you have to replace it with some moisturizer. Now the one that I'm going to use on you today it's nothing fancy, but it is dermatologist tested and recommended. I've been using this since last year after I got a rash on my face. Yeah. Yes, so it was very instrumental in helping me to clear out my face. 
you remember that. Yeah, it was it was pretty bad. Um, so are you okay with me using this brand? Good. Okay. Just gonna put a little bit on my hand. And I'm just going to give you a little bit of a face massage as well. That's okay. beauty college and she has taught me a few things in terms of self-care there we go um no she's actually going for the administration so she's not is nice and moisturized. Before I continue, would you like a beverage? I have water, still or sparkling. specific feature. So, I don't like to use lip gloss or lipstick. Of course, um, I'm not sure if you use those, but chapstick, is that okay? Alright, just gonna apply some chapstick. Please relax your lips. Okay, hold still. I want 
to just fluff them up a little bit. I'm not gonna darken them or anything like that. They're just lying a bit flat and I want to fluff them up a bit. I think that's really gonna help your eyes open up a bit. How do you feel about that? Good. Now, this is like a gel and it has a slight color to it, but you shouldn't be able to see much of a difference. It's, um, it, it's not, it looks brown, but it really doesn't have much of a color, so I'm just gonna go in and click, 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 click. One more pen. Does that look good to you? Yeah, I agree. It really does make your eyes pop. Okay. Next. Now, I prefer that my subjects show up in a style that they're comfortable with or that they feel is very them. Um, but for clients who prefer to show up in little to no makeup, I do offer something called contouring. Now, I know what you're thinking, but it shouldn't be something that you would see or notice, but it does help in the pictures to really chisel out the shape of the face. So what I would do is I put a darker color down here under the chin and then I put a darker color underneath the cheekbones and around the sides of the forehead. This really helps to shape the natural, the natural shape of your face. And then from there, I put a lighter color here, here, and here. Oh, and here as well. And then I do like to finish off with a bit of a pink on the cheeks, but that's completely up to you. Is it, can that be okay? Okay, good. All right. that the sounds of my neighbor's car isn't bothering you. I tried for this to be a very relaxing, relaxing experience. It's okay. Thank you, and I hope it doesn't negatively affect this experience. Okay. So, here I have the darker color that I'll be using. Now I know it seems pretty dark, but notice that it's fairly recognizable. Mm -hmm. Okay, so I'm gonna go in underneath your chin here. Okay. Uh, Need those cheekbones to really shape them. Underneath the cheekbones. Underneath the cheekbones. And I'm just gonna get I'm just gonna get I'm just gonna get the sides of your 
some do like to contour their nose to make it a bit thinner but for you, I'd actually recommend no contouring on the nose because it might draw attention to your nose I just think that, like I mentioned earlier, it's best to have nothing stand out and to just have everything um, be equally appealing on your face so that everyone looks at the whole thing Okay, glad you agree I'm gonna go in with this color here and this is going to be the highlight for the lighter color is completely up to you but I do have a bit of a shimmer here it's extremely subtle so again see how it's very subtle so it's not going to be overdone or anything like that well it's just gonna help me place where the light is going to catch on your features is that okay? Okay. Glad you agree. It's nice to know that you trust my professional opinion. Okay, I'm just gonna put some on the end of your nose here. And on the sides of your cheek. Please keep your eyes closed. Thank you. And I'm gonna curl, 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 curl your eyelashes. Curl your eyelashes. Curl those eyelashes. Looks really good. Um, I won't do anything drastic. I'm just 
just going to brush the hair and style it just a little bit. That's okay. Alright, I'll get started. I'm going to use this brush to just brush out your hair. Okay? Hold still for me. color. Is it not? It is. It's a lovely color. Okay. I think that I have everything there. Nice and detangled. I'm going to use two different products on you. The first one is a mousse. done here. I just want to give your hair a little bit of a tease. 
course, the current style is voluminous hair. So, I'm just gonna tease a few parts and then spray it. Use my comb here. I do have a different color if you prefer. I just really want to cater to your experience. Purple is okay. Alright. I'm just gonna get in and tease a few of these spots here. Finish it off with some hairspray. Okay. Hold it still for me, please. I'm just gonna cover your eyes, okay? really good. Alright. Now, let's get to the photography. This is my favorite part. Okay. Now, before I take the picture, I'm just gonna pose you if that's okay. Okay. Can you tilt your head this side a little like this good now I want you to slowly bring your fist up underneath your chin like this right about there perfect hold that for me now I want you to imagine that you're weightless, floating in the ocean, surrounded by thousands of little seahorses. Oh, let me turn this off. I think that's the one. Just in case. I'm going to give you some more options, okay? So, this next pose, I want you to turn looking up like this and look off into the distance. Good. You can take your hand down. Good. And about there. Okay. 
can't hold that. No. I want you to feel strong, like you're a fierce warrior, like Almighty Thor, and you're holding up your hammer, about to call down lightning from the heavens. Strength. Power. That's another really amazing option. Let's do a softer look. Now I want you to move your head back. Okay? Look at me straight on. Okay? Good. Can you put your hands right here like this? Or you could also do the double fist if you like. You prefer the double fist? Okay. Like that right there. Good. Now, um, I want you to imagine that you've been frolicking in a large field of tulips all day. Picking and smelling flowers. And then you finally taking a moment to rest and sit down. And you're gazing at the majestic mountains in the distance. Good. You're a natural at this. Did you want to take a silly picture? I know often uh, people like to put more silly options in their repertoire. Amazing. Okay, I'm gonna leave this one up to you. Often my other subjects like to exaggerate their eyebrows, make funny gestures with their tongues. They do like to use symbols such as this, but I do ask, please, nothing vulgar. Alright? Ready? Three, two, one. Say cheese. Well done. That's really funny. That was really funny. I almost couldn't contain myself. Okay. I think we have a lot of really good options here. They turned out really well. Like I said, you're a natural. Perfect subject for any photographer. Alright. Well. I'll get those processed, and then I will reach out to you when they are ready. And of course, if you'd like to leave a review, I do appreciate a five-star review, and just a little mention of your experience with me. And of course, if you have any feedback, please let me know. I do like constructive feedback so that I can improve my business. Lastly, on the way out, I would like to show you a collection of homemade bracelets, necklaces, and keychains. I'm raising money for college. Is it okay if I show you the way? Amazing, thank you. <laughs>